Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Dark Wolf, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the gear pieces that I got from the 22 underground caches that I opened up in the previous video. So let me go ahead and open up my inventory real quick. Alrighty, here we are. Now as you can see, my current gear is 125k DPS, 420k toughness, 10k skill power. I'm using three sentries and three final measure. Um, this was a build I was experimenting with, so it's not too great. Hopefully we can get something better. In the chest piece, I have a blind 1031 armor with 643 electronics, 9% damage to elites. 11% protection from elites, 47% ammo capacity, and 3% smart cover damage resilience. Uh, this, this doesn't look that bad, I guess. I mean, I can kind of work with this. It's got two gear slots. Uh, I might reroll something, reroll electronics to stamina. I don't know. Let's go to the backpacks, see what we got there. Under backpacks, I got a blind piece at 626 armor, 693 stamina, 7,410 skill power, 15% burn resistance, 9% support station range, and 9% first aid ally heal. That's actually not that bad. Um, I'd probably either reroll the support station or try to get higher stamina on that. I like the burn resist. All right, under masks, I got a fire crest piece. It's 518 armor, 719 firearms, 5073 skill power, 15% burn resistance, and 8.5% support station healing speed. Not too bad either. Uh, I mean, you know, for what it is, for a mask, it has a, a gear slot on it, a mod slot, so it's okay. For gloves, I got a pair of Firecrest gloves at 497 armor, 648 firearms, 750 shotgun damage, plus 38% critical hit damage, plus 13% health on kill, and plus 3% smart cover damage increase. And yes, I want to reroll that shotgun damage. I wouldn't... Uh, I, yeah, I kind of wish I could reroll the firearms higher too. Mm, having better armor would be nice, but let's go ahead and move on to the knee pads. Okay, first one I have blind knee pads at 802 armor, 636 firearms, plus 6% protection from elites with plus 88% scavenging, plus 9% enemy armor damage, plus 27% disorient resistance, and plus 9% turret health. Uh, this isn't that great. I mean, it's all right. It's not that great. Not really. I mean, the 636 and the firearms is kind of bad. The turret health isn't really going to do me any good, but it's only a skill attribute. So, on the, this piece, it's 803 armor with 726 stamina, which 726 versus 636. Yeah. So, you don't want to raise 133 to 334. And that one shows two red. That's interesting. So far, I think this is the better set piece. Huh. Okay. 97% scavenging. 10% enemy armor damage. Plus 27% bleed resistance. And plus 3% smart cover damage resilience. Actually, this one brings my toughness only down a little bit to what it's currently at. Uh, has a mod slot. You know, I can make up for that. I can make that up. All right, under holsters, I have a blind holster, 1096 armor. Well, that's not bad. 681 firearms, 638 stamina, 746 electronics, 3% ballistic shield damage. I don't like the 531 armor. However, is nice. This this is okay. Um. Reroll the firearms or the stamina might not be too bad. The second is a fire crest at 529 armor with 644 firearms, 691 stamina, 730 electronics with 10% skill haste and plus 8.5% secret mind damage. That's okay. 
I mean, I could re-roll some of that stuff too. That's okay. The second fire crest is armor rating of 482, I'm sorry, at 753 firearms. Uh, what we got? We got seven, yeah, 753 firearms, 658 stamina, 678 electronics with 321 pistol damage and 9.5% first aid ally heal. Yep, I would definitely reroll some of that. Now, this Lone Star holster I got on an HVT quest. So, I'm going to show you guys this so we can try to compare it with the other ones to see how well they they match up. Let's see, this armor rating is 534 with 672 firearms, 689 stamina, and 755 electronics with 351 pistol damage and 3% ballistic shield damage. Um, actually, this one is a little bit better. I just wished it wasn't a Lone Star. It seems like it rolled better on the stats. Huh. Well, I mean, compared to the pieces that I have here currently, I might be able to retool things to get a better setup. Um, I don't know yet. I'll probably cover that in another video. In fact, I know I will cover that in another video. So, under firearms, we got an enhanced PP-19. We got, no, yeah, hold on, let's switch. Uh, sort by type. There we go. Get everything categorized. All right. It looks like I've got one, two, three four G36Cs. I've got one, two G36 enhanced and one military G36. It looks like the military G36 and only 136C gives me currently any bonuses. All right, the first one's got 21% enemy armor damage at 11.2. It's got brutal and focused. All right, this one's at 22% enemy armor, 11.5 with adept, vicious, and focused. Okay, yeah, when no skills are on cooldown, your weapon damage is increased by 14%. Eh, when do I, you know, I always have skills on cooldown. This one's at 22% armor damage, 10.6 damage, and sustained. Okay, so far not that great. This one's at 21% enemy armor damage, 10.5 base. With commanding and restored. Okay, that's not that good. Alright, the G36 enhanced has 18% enemy armor damage at 10.3k health. With intense, sets people on fire, self preserved. Self preserved's not bad if we can raise crit chance and crit damage up. This one's 20% enemy armor damage at 11.5k base with capable and adept. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with that one. Okay, the military G36 does 18% enemy armor damage at 11.4k health. It's got dominant vicious and Focused. Oh, I like the vicious. Let's see, I got four PP 19s to enhanced to normal and two SVDs. All right. Almost there. All right, so, well, now this PP 19 says plus 7,000. But, okay, let's go to the first one. All right, we got an enhanced PP-19, four, two of enhanced. The first enhanced is 41% critical hit damage, 9K base with sustained and fierce. I like sustained. It's a shame fierce wasn't in the third slot, but it's, yeah, it's because of this hurried talent. Critical hits increase reload speed by 10% to a minimum of one second reload time. I don't really like that. I mean, and I think the critical hit damage rolled a little low. That base damage might be a little low too, I'm not sure. Well, that one's higher. 
at 48 percent at 94 with predatory and unforgiving now i do like predatory especially during pve same with unforgiving better base damage but not really good for pvp this pp19 has got 44 percent critical hit damage at, with meticulous and vicious and it's running uh, 74,780 base damage. Again, I like the Vicious. I could maybe get the Meticulous to work. This PP-19 is 45% critical hit damage, 8,000 base with Ferocious, which is all right in PvE, and Adept, which is all right. That's not too bad. Hmm. The guns aren't as great as I was hoping for, guys. The paratroopers got 145% headshot damage, 25.2k base, with brutal and vicious. Now that's that's okay. I can make that work. I like vicious. Vicious already unlocked. Just gotta raise the firearms for brutal and reroll decisive. I think decisive on a sniper rifle is actually kind of pointless. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I definitely might re-roll this one. I'm going to keep this one in mind. Because this is probably... Probably better than the surplus can be. Surplus. Wow, 158 headshot damage. Wow, that's higher. 24.2 with dominant... Oh, and trained, and this, never mind. It looked like it got the better base stats, but its skills are worse. Oh, that stinks. Really wished, I, I don't know. I don't think I can get this one to work that well, guys. I really don't. Um, yeah, I mean, for a 229 weapon, this kind of looks like weak sauce. I mean, the headshot damage part is nice. It's 260 RPM with 10 for a mag. Um, I don't know. I really don't. Well, anyway, that was what I got in the gear. Um, stay tuned for the third one where I'll actually go and I'll start recalibrating these pieces, um, both some of the gear pieces and some of the weapons. So until next time, take care of yourself. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you smash that like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me and the channel out. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.